Hello, astronaut Randy Bresnik again. And while we're on the International Space Station for these long duration missions, we don't have gravity pulling on our muscles and having us have to work against it. And so our muscles atrophy. Because they atrophy, the bones inside don't have the tension on them, and so they start to go ahead and have bone loss uh, density as well. So what we do to counteract that is a very robust program of aerobic and anaerobic exercise. We have a special weightlifting machine called the Advanced Resistive Exercise Device that we can use to do all kinds of exercises for the entire part of our body. The main stuff being the core right in here that carries a lot of our weight, we need to keep that going so we can keep our hips and our femurs and our uh, upper torso and our back muscles and bones uh, strong. Without these countermeasures, our bodies would be really frail by the time we got back to Earth. And we certainly saw that when we had long duration missions years ago when we did not have all these countermeasures. So we will spend two to two and a half hours every single day on orbit, either on our exercise bicycle, on our treadmill, or using that weightlifting machine, the A-RED, every day. What that does for us is we've actually had astronauts and cosmonauts come back home from space in better shape than they, when they left it. Why do we care? Because when you take a nine month journey to go to Mars, what you don't want to do is get there, take the step off your spacecraft for the first time, and break a leg. We're going to look at bone loss, or the loss of bone density, like Comrade Bresnik was talking about. But what we need first is some simulated bones. So in each of these baggies, we have some corn puff cereal. Uh, each of these little puffs represents uh, calcium and minerals that are found in healthy bones. So let's take a look at what these look like normally. So we're going to pour some of them out, kind of as our control. So you can see these are in really good shape. They're full puffs. They're not broken, broken up. There's not really any corn puff dust around there. This first baggie represents a healthy bone. It's got uh, 240 puffs in there, and that's about 100%. This bag is filled with 90%, so it represents a 10% bone loss. And this last and final bag only has 50% of the puffs in it, so this is a 50% bone density loss. Bone loss is a major issue when you're talking about long-term space travel, especially when the astronauts come back to Earth. So we're going to simulate the stress that maybe a fall might have on a normal bone. Beth, are you ready to smash? I'm ready. All right, let's give it a smash. All right, that was the 100%. Now let's try the 90%. Give that a smash. All right, and let's try the 50% the bone loss. All right, so now what we're going to do is we are going to dump these out and look and see what happened to the, uh, the cells inside these bones. So let's start with the normal bone. We got a little dust. Yeah, we got some dust. If in you there. look, there's some dust. You've got some broken pieces, um, you know, but overall in pretty good shape. You could still walk on that leg. Let's, uh, let's try the 90%. Now if we look here, we've got what appears to be more dust and more broken pieces. Not a lot, but a few. All right, let's look at the 50%. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. That, that uh, you wouldn't walk away on that leg. No, I don't think so. The bone density loss is a major issue for astronauts on long-term space missions. If you want to learn more about this and try this in your own classroom, head over to the website and check out the lesson plan.